Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? I have some energy out here already and you guys, I don't know why I'm feeling like a little bit somber from, I get a very somber energy from a masculine. This masculine could be a king of cups, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, they don't have to be, but I just get a really somber energy, like maybe a little bit of depressive, somebody's ashamed at their behavior. This king of cups is very ashamed at their behavior. They're ashamed at something they did in the past. First card out was the five of cups. Next card out was this king of cups. Whatever this person did in the past, it's behind them. It's behind them. But they're in deep regret over it. They're in deep regret over it. They're ashamed and humiliated at their, at their actions or something that they did. And I'm going to tell you what it is that they did. Because I clarified this five of cups and I got the ace of wands. And then I clarified that and I got the five of wands. And I was like, damn. This person's in deep regret over, like, them. They, some of y'all, this person was a player, uh, an extreme player. Maybe somebody even with addictions, sex addictions. They have multiple sex partners. There is definitely some conflict over the wand. Somebody used their wand. I mean, this is kind of really giving, like, any, this, I don't want to say this divine masculine, like, isn't choosy, you know, but, you know, but I feel like there are five people in this five of wands. I feel like this person was giving it to a lot of people. Maybe even for some of y'all, five different people. This person had several different sexual partners. That caused a lot of drama and chaos in this person's life. And I feel like they're getting karma for that right now. The reason I say that is because on the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune upright. And then when I pulled the car down, guess what was here? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's getting their karma for this behavior. And I feel like spirit is hitting your person in the pockets. Or hitting this person in the pockets. And this person is not happy about it. You know, it's like they might be acting like they're happy about it with this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're not happy. Their finances are fucked up. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. This person sitting there like looking at their bank account or upset, acting like they're happy on the outside, but they're not. Four of Cups energy. They're just not. They're not. There's a choice that this person knows they need to make. They know they need to make this choice. Page of Cups. The Lovers. And a nine of swords. This person will not make this choice. There's some sort of ending. They're not going to make the choice because they know they have to make this ending. And whatever this ending is might be very, very shocking. Because the tower is here with the devil. Scorpio energy. Somebody could be a Scorpio. I, I'm just saying. Anyway. So this person is very frustrated right now. They're very frustrated with themselves. I'm just going to tell you this, even though they know they have a choice about something, this person's not 100% on what choice they're going to make. They're not 100%. They don't really know what they want to do. They know they want to be with you. They know they want to reunite with you. I'm going to show you those cards. But remember I was saying earlier, like this person, you see this fake AF at the bottom. How I was saying somebody's acting like they're okay, but they're not okay in, in, in the light. To everybody, to this, they, this person could be showing up to their family members, their friends, their kids, whoever to work. I feel like they're happy, but they're not 100%. This, this is fake. And their finances are really tore up, too. I'm telling you, somebody's getting karma for this behavior. And I feel like the, and the way that they're receiving the karma is money. Somebody, spirit hit your person in the pockets. Now, the reason why I said this person um, has a, a choice other than, you know, um, Seeing that lover's card at the bottom of the deck, we have this energy. Somebody's in between two people. So your person is stuck in between you and somebody else. I don't, you know who your person is. But this person feels stretched and torn between two lovers. And they don't know. Now, for some of y'all, you could be stuck in between an ex and it's been hard for you to let that person go. Um, 
or I feel like your person can't let you go. Um, and they've been to themselves, you know, just in hermit mode, um, quiet, taking a lot of time for themselves, like in this retreating energy. Some of you guys, if you resonate as the divine feminine, like you have been in hermit mode and you're stuck in the past and you haven't, it's been difficult for you to let go of this ex energy. You may not be dealing with them anymore because it looks like you definitely are not, but you, a part of you is still holding on to this. Be, have a little bit more compassion for yourself. And if you want new love, you have to kind of cleanse your energy. Do what you can to move on from this person. Because it looks like they did come with a lot of karma and baggage. And they were really giving it to a lot of people, unfortunately. This person definitely wants to reconcile with you with the reunion, date night, and seduction. This tells me a few things. I wonder if this person has learned a lesson here with this seduction and date night and reunion behavior. Because if this is what created conflict... If you know this is the energy that created conflict, why do you still want to be in the same behavior? Now, I will say this energy is in the past, okay? Because it's behind this King of Cups. But it's still coming out. I mean, I'm just going to say, I don't know. But it does look like the thing is, it looks like A, your person wants to talk, and B, they have a gift to give you. So, like, this person may call you and say, hey, like, I'd love to take you somewhere. This could be them, like, surprising you with some form of gift. Like, you know, a, a, I don't know, jewelry, flowers, whatever it is. Because the Knight of Pentacles is here in between the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So this person could be thinking about like what they're going to buy you, to say to you, to get you to talk to them. Because those aren't like big love offers. Those are small love offers. But it makes sense because if, the, the, if this person is in this Ten of Pentacles energy, they don't really have much to give. So they're going to give you what they can. Somebody here is definitely having sleepless nights because they're in this frustrating energy here. Definitely can't sleep, constantly doing something to try to keep them, keep you off of their mind. Hmm. I feel like this person too, like, is looking for an active sexual partner. I don't even, I don't usually talk about stuff like this, but it's coming out, okay? So I have to tell y'all. <laughs> It's, this is not an R rated or rated R channel. It's not. Okay. But we're grown. Okay. If you're not, get off of here. Get off of here. But restless, this person's restless. I feel like they, they have a lot of energy. And either A, this person's trying to burn off that energy by like working or keeping themselves busy to, so they can't think about you or the situation that they're currently in. Or this person, for some of y'all, is a workaholic and they're working their ass off to try to save money to get their finances back on track. But, like, I feel like this person has a high sex drive, and that's part of why this Ace of Wands and this Five of Wands is here. And then this Unfaithful card just came out again, yet again. Another lover is in the mix. Someone is horning in, part, in a partner that can't be trusted. I think that's a typo. But anyway, so they're dealing with a third party that can't be trusted. Or the person they're with, can, I, shit, who can be trusted in this situation? I don't know. I, I don't see your energy out here. Now, I will say I am getting a little bit of the energy of some of y'all being stuck in the past and having a little bit of a difficult time during the separation and just healing. And I get it. I, I totally get it. Show me more here for the collective. This situation. Look at this. It says, in, when this person met you, they felt an instant bond. The two of you both actually daydreamed about like what a future would be like with each other when you first met this person. Yeah. You both have daydreamed about, yep, <laughs> dreamer came out. You both have daydreamed, you know what I'm saying, about a future with each other. This person just really feels like they're not going to live up to your expectations or something here. Somebody here could be high maintenance. I don't know. Or this person feels like 
they have a material 3D mindset. Like they must live up to some certain ideals. They're not happy with the reality of a situation, which makes total sense because if this person is in Ten of Pentacles energy, but they're acting like they're in the Ten of Cups energy, like they're happy, when really they are not. And they're struggling financially too. This person is really emotional. I feel like they're hiding a lot of this stuff. I don't know, but for some of y'all, somebody here tolerated some form of abuse. I don't know who that is. Never accept abuse. Please reach out for help. Do not allow that. If this is not you, then your other person may be, if someone is being emotionally abused or physically abused, or this person could be abusing themselves if they have a sex addiction or something, okay? Low self-esteem, you know, and when you do it, you don't, obviously when you have this sort of behavior, you don't really know and understand what, why, and what, you know, the, the what stems from that? Why are you behaving that way? Fear of loss, afraid of being abandoned. Yeah. So for a lot of you guys, this King of Cups, this masculine, part of the reason they show up in this energy is because they are afraid they have abandonment issues. Maybe they were abandoned by a mother figure, a father figure, um, a grandparent, you know, or someone who raised them or, or took care of them for a brief time and then they just deserted them or something. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's why this person is procrastinating on like making a move towards you or doing anything real. You know, don't allow this person, don't wait for this person to figure it out. Because I feel like, you know, you know, like, I just don't feel like this person is really ready to offer you anything long term and stable. Show me more here. We'll pull some more tarot cards, but the only thing out here as far as stability is concerned is the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. And don't get me wrong, the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, it might be slow moving energy and it might not be a lot, but it is building a solid, strong foundation. It is reliable, okay? So I do believe this person does genuinely want to show up for you and be reliable. I just feel like they don't really have a lot to give right now. <clears throat> I feel like I'm just going to say this divine feminine. All right. Some of y'all are stuck in the past or just having some difficulty letting go of your ex for new love to really come in. You've been cold, a little bit unapproachable. I'm just saying, try to be a little bit more friendly. Or some of y'all are happy with you know, having a break and being single and, and you know that you just have to stop waiting, you know, and take some action or like you don't need rescuing. Okay. Nobody's, I always say this all the time. Like nobody's coming to save you. You are responsible for you. Um, not to say that family and friends are not going to be there to support you or you can't go to therapy or God is never there for you. That is not what I'm saying here. So please, you know, show me more here. Hmm. Oh, hold on, you guys. What is this? This person is actually doing research and really trying to think strategically about what, how they can make something work with you. Do they have what it takes? But I feel like they're just really inconsistent. This person was just flaky. In the past, I feel like this person was not dependable. They didn't show you a lot of love. They know that um, at the time. But this person, if this person came across as cold and aloof, maybe that's them being cold and aloof and it's not you. This person is hard on the outside, but on the inside, they're very soft and they really do actually want to take a risk with you again to see where this goes. Or they wish they did. 
again, I don't see promising energy here. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. This person is, let's look at this, inconspicuous energy. They want to stay out of the limelight. They want to stay inconspicuous, try to be low key. But on, like I said, they appear like everything is okay on the outside. They may look great on the outside, but honey, they are not on the inside. I'm telling you. Show me more here. You guys hit the like button for me, please. And subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I am open for personal readings. That if you'd like a book of reading with me, that information is below in the description box or you can email me. The email is there too. This person has all these ideas, but I just feel like they don't have a plan. They don't have a plan or they don't have enough information if this person tries to call you and talk to you about something, I don't know, or maybe their communication is not very clear. Like this person is either they have a plan or they're not sure how to get it off the ground or there's just not enough. If this person contacts you, they, you're going to be like, they, and they tell you, oh, I have a plan. This is how I want to do this. I want to be a relationship with you. And you're like, um, how are you going to do that? You, you know, you, you can barely take care of yourself. Like, You know, look at this unsure, questionable. Look at this energy. Show me more. Oh. Oh. conspiracy other people plotting to keep you apart so you've got other people maybe friends or family members or um a, th a third party trying to keep you and your person apart huh somebody here may have been in a, a an arranged marriage too that's not for everybody um someone here could be from india Some of y'all, this person was in a long-term marriage, like a marriage, and this person knows that you're a good catch. They know, and they're nervous about somebody like snatching you up and like wifing you up or making you their husband or something. This person, but the thing is, this person is so flaky, they're so unsure. All they do is procrastinate. They're cold and aloof at times. Who the hell has time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh-uh. And then on top of that, you sleeping around with multiple people. What else does this divine masculine want? Because I can, I, can, I can go to bed now. <laughs> Maybe there's more. Oh, my gosh. The devil. Capricorn energy. What what does this divine masculine want? See what I'm saying? Toxic energy. They want to apologize. Page of cups, four of cups, the devil. They want to apologize for this behavior, but they don't feel like you even want to hear anything that they have to say. They don't. They do regret the toxic behavior in the past. This devil is falling underneath this five of cups. But so, what? Look at that, six of, I told you they want to give you a gift here. In this in this deck, people the people actually have gifts in their hand. You might get a Christmas present from this person. It might surprise you, all right? Or a birthday present for some of y'all, if you're a Sagittarius. Because <clears throat> it's not money. They really don't have any money to give you. We already know they were dealing with two people, three people, four people, five people. I don't, something just flipped over. The high priestess, this person may secretly send you a gift or you might receive a gift and it might come across as like a secret admirer gift. You might get flowers and it's a not addressed. You don't know where it came from. <sighs> Listen, third party energy here. 
somebody walked walking walked away from a third party situation, some drama. A lot of a lot of burden. And look at you, Queen of Cups. This is you. You had all these burdens. You were like, no, I gotta let this go. I gotta walk away and find my emotional fulfillment for me, my own happiness. This was unexpected. Your world may have felt like it was like crumbling down. This could have been a very painful experience. You had to rebuild yourself and transform. You had to make some changes in your own life for you. You had to put put your foot down in some things and, and, and realize there were some things that you needed to change about you. But, you know, it's a celebration. Three of Cups. You're not, you, you're not doing the same shit anymore. You're not going to allow this person to do that to you anymore. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Yeah. Be gentle with yourself right now, you guys. You're doing a lot of inner healing work. Your person could be right behind you on doing that inner healing work. Because this is a spiritual ascension, I feel like. Be continue to have compassion for yourself. Don't beat yourself up. One day at a time. Yep. And then I say that the next card out is inner child. Be gentle with your inner child. Be gentle with your inner child. You're not perfect. We all make mistakes, okay? At least you are still out here, you know. Some people are just, I know you feel like you may, may have missed some red flags or allowed some things to happen longer than you would have normally done or been understanding. Understanding by escape is on. I don't mean to be demanding, but I want some understanding. I want to be with you. So you see what I'm saying? Y'all, I'm so, I'm old. <laughs> it's understanding. Communicate. Listen, I feel like y'all, we saw that Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is somebody saying, hey, I'm here for you. I'm love. I'm going to love you. I'm going to nurture you through all this BS. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to do what I can to support you. You know, i Emotionally, maybe for some of y'all financially, I don't know. I ain't that, that ain't, I can't do that. I can't, I can't. And you're not my husband, I can't help you out with that one. But nonetheless, I just feel like y'all came across so understanding, and you really try to talk to this person and be there for them. Maybe some of y'all thought you could fix them. You can't. You know, you can't do that. You know, you can't do that. Somebody's getting ready to communicate with you. I told you. Look at this. Somebody's getting ready to send you something. And for some of y'all, it could be flowers. I don't know. For some of y'all, it could be anything. A form, a gift, or whatever. There's a... Give me, on the, give me another one. There's a wife energy out here. This person views you as their wife here. I don't know. Um, or this could be third party shit. I don't know. No, it's not. Romance and true love. They're about to send you a gift. They're about to send you a gift. Show me more here. About this communication. Ooh. <laughs> when this person is about to send you a love letter or some flowers or some roses or some shit. And you're going to be like, this better not be who I think it's from. Or you're just going to be a little bit annoyed. Or the third party finds out that this person sent you something. And they're going to be annoyed at this divine masculine. But see, somebody here knows they got a choice to make. They're stuck in between two. Yeah, you know, they know they know they better hurry up and oh sorry, they know they better hurry up and make a move. I feel like this person's gonna like pull the stops out or send you something and surprise you. 
um, and make like a very romantic gesture or some gesture or something because they know you're moving on. They know you might be moving on to a, a, a you're about to be somebody's husband, you're about to be somebody's wife. For some of y'all, they feel like you've already moved on. Yeah. Look at that. Marriage, growth, partners here. This person is afraid that you're going to move on to a new journey and find somebody else. They feel like you're spending time with somebody else. Or, you know... Um... Okay, so... What else does the collective need to know about this connection with this Divine Masculine? Yeah, they're getting ready to travel towards you. Maybe they, you know, somebody's moved on here. Somebody's moving away from the drama and moving towards peace. And they're trying to manifest something here. Gemini energy. What are they trying to manifest here? So somebody's moving away from the peace. Oh, shit. What's the Seven of Swords? What's going on here? Ooh, what is going on? What happened? Somebody got a legal situation or something happening here? <laughs> Somebody got something to say. Somebody may have gotten served with some papers. I don't know. Hmm. Seven of Swords, the Sun, and the Justice card. Let me clarify. Somebody here is lies and deception that caught up with their ass. That Ace of Wands energy, five of, five of Wands energy caught up with somebody. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The devil's already out here. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The hair fine with the Ace of Cups. What? Clarify the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra or a Taurus or a Gemini or Capricorn or Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Hold on before I say something here. Because for some of y'all, this person may want to propose to you. And they might have already gotten a divorce. And you don't know this or something was revealed this person that caused some drama something was revealed and now justice is going to be served um or somebody's getting divorced and has a legal situation maybe even somebody here was put on child support too why is this the son here somebody wants to offer make an offer of a commitment a love commitment the hidden truth could be that they see you as the person they should be with. I try not to do that to y'all and give y'all false hope. So I'm just reading the cards like all the different ways it can be, you know, read. Because you can read these cards multiple ways. So you'll know which 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 is which. Alright, why why is the sun the sun here? Clarify the sun. The King of Wands may have had a baby. Let's see. The sun, why is the Sun card here? Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Sun card. The Three of Swords. Yeah. This King of Wands definitely broke this Queen of Pentacles heart. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles was very focused on money towards Virgo Capricorn. This person was more focused on money. Like this connection between these two people, there is no love. It's all about the 3D material. And what that caused was a broken relationship. This person, they could have kids. It's a broken relationship. But see, the thing is, this King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, 
is looking at this hair of fire and this ace of cups. This person knows what they really want, but they're keeping that a secret, really. Which is why, duh, like, th this masculine... <sighs> Child, I don't know. Whatever. Show me this justice card. Mm -hmm. like they over there faking with somebody else. Wearing all kind of name brand, doing whatever. But, like, ultimately, they're not happy. They're miserable. Lead more Leo energy here with the strength card. Well, show me why the justice card is here. Somebody's holding back. Show me. Uh-uh. I'll clarify the strength card. The moon cancer energy. Clarify the strength card, please. Somebody's holding back some emotions. Somebody's secretly holding back some emotion. The strength card. Somebody wants to make something right. They, they held back something, right? A love offer. But the strength card is looking in the, the opposite damn direction. The Knight of Cups is looking towards past this justice energy. And then the moon with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody secretly, secretly wants to offer something of commitment. Stability. Husband, wife. They just do. So for some of y'all, maybe this person is like not married or they're divorced or they're about to get divorced or you're about to find that out. Mm -hmm. I just feel like low key somebody's about to make a real romantic move. But I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be like, how, Sway? How? Because they were in that Ace of Wands, Five of Wands energy. But this person actually wants to bring balance back into the situation between you. It could have been, they feel like now is the right time. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they want to work on this with you. They're tired of feeling this, having this monkey on their back. And feeling all this weight and these burdens. They feel like you are their match. Queen of Wands. Or they should. <laughs> really, I feel like. What is this? Queen of Wands is, is burdened. You could be a female Sagittarius and you could feel like there's a lot of burden on trying to make this work. You don't see how it's going to work. You, you just don't see. That's not going to work. Somebody's definitely trying to fix their finances here. They're working a lot. All right. Any advice for the collector? How long is this reading? Any advice for the collector? Well, Spirit is saying this person is coming back, so you might as well expect to hear from this person soon, okay? For some of you all, this is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, an Earth sign. And somebody is letting you know maybe they're moving or they they, they, did, they did move. Maybe, in fact, they changed their residence. Um, some of y'all, they might call and ask you, can they move in with you? Child, I don't know. I don't, what y'all going to do? You going to let them move in? I'm just asking. <laughs> I just think that, you know... Y'all let me know in the comments if any of this resonates. 